Is your refrigerator freezing up? Is, are you getting ice in the back of your refrigerator? I'm talking about inside your refrigerator. You know, your propane RV refrigerator. I've got a solution. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hey guys, welcome to RV Daydream. If you guys remember, I did a video of us putting some additional cooling fans in the back of this big refrigerator up top in the high vent to help keep heat circulating cool air in heat out of the back of the RV or the back of the refrigerator uh, so we can make sure the absorption process is happening correctly you need to have that cool air coming in and again I did a video on that if you haven't seen that go back and check it out but that same company that we've been dealing with for some time now sent us a no charge just to be fully transparent fans that are to be installed inside the refrigerator now if you have a big refrigerator like we've got behind us you guys are in pretty good shape because first of all it's a big refrigerator so the food you put in there has plenty of room to keep stuff away from the walls so the air circulates correctly inside the refrigerator now I mean that's how this works these refrigerators the way they work is that air needs to circulate all around the food to keep it cool uh, and the refrigerator from freezing up the second thing is these big refrigerators they add fans on them from the factory because they know it's so important now if you have a smaller refrigerator than the one I have and I'm talking absorption refrigerators I'm not talking a 12 volt compressor refrigerator although that could help these can help 12 volt compressor refrigerators uh, but definitely absorption propane powered refrigerators um, if you have a smaller one than this if you have the, the smaller you definitely need this product because this thing has the fans built into it from the factory even with the fans built in and us being on the road the last 10 months we finally got to the point where we need to defrost and I bet you need to defrost your smaller refrigerator all the time so big propane refrigerator and you can see the back of the freezer is all iced up that's even with a factory built-in fan there's a fan in here right now that's blowing air on the back side to help with air circulation around all the food which in this case don't look like there's very much <laughs> and again it's because we have such a big refrigerator now in this case we need to go shopping so you're gonna see the lack of food in here but again hear all that noise it's because I have a 12 volt fan from the factory that's running in here to blow air on these cooling fins in the back or these fins in the back and even with that you can see potentially it's kind of difficult there's ice buildup already in these vents that's not good that's not how this works again you can see with our big refrigerator and us needing to go shopping we have a lot of places to put our food that has nothing to do with blocking the airflow the air has the ability to travel all throughout this refrigerator pretty evenly but if you have a smaller refrigerator um, without these fans from the factory you put in just a week's worth of food and you are definitely getting into a problem of air circulation to help this thing cool the way that it should so the first thing I want to show you is just the single fan and the whole sole purpose behind this is you connect this to 12 volt wiring that's already available inside the refrigerator or you could go through the back of the, the refrigerator and when I mean the back I'm going to say it kind of strange the inside back basically there could be an access panel inside your refrigerator uh, or a plug that you can run the cord through the wall of the refrigerator and into the utility compartment of the refrigerator on the back side and you can connect it to 12 volt wiring there I'm not going to show you step by step exactly how this is done whenever I installed those fans that are on the upper side of the refrigerator I had more comments about you didn't show where the black and the red wire got connected and now I'm lost if you don't know how to find and wire in 12 volt power that's existing on the RV just tap into it you do not need to be doing wiring on your RV on any level stop so I'm not going to be showing you the actual connections because 
The only way that would work is if you have this model RV, you have to have this refrigerator option, and you would have to do the exact same wiring setup as I do. It has to be wired exactly the same. But I will show you the basics. And that is, there is 12 volt power that's inside the RV that you can tie into, depending on what you want to do and what's available in your refrigerator. So let me show you the fan. So again, this small one, this is to replace that cube that runs on batteries. You're going to see they give you uh, instructions. Actually, there's three different things here. Um, the good news is this company is based out of the U.S. Although this may be outsourced from out of the country, you've got Americans writing the instructions and explaining all this to you. Um, they have a lifetime warranty. Uh, just if you have any issues, contact them. They're going to give you some wire nuts. These are so whenever you clip your 12 volt wires, you can twist onto them, reconnect it all. You have uh, this cable here, which is long and plentiful in case you want to go to the back. It does have what they call a barrel connector. That's so you can run your wiring and do all your connections. And then when it's all said and done, you can just plug this in and it'll be ready to go. You can see this has an on off switch so you can control the 12 volt power going to it or I should say the 12 volt power that is um, actually running the fan. That way in case you're in a situation where you're boondocking and you're concerned about uh, more than anything else running out of battery power or running your battery dead, uh, you can turn this off. Uh, they give you the ability to do this. You can see it's kind of raised. They have little feet on here that's raised from the bottom. And that's so you can set it on a solid surface inside the refrigerator. Uh, you don't want to put this in, you know, on a bag or something because it does need to pull air from the bottom to blow it out. And you're going to place this in the refrigerator um, to where, uh, in my case, I always put it close to the bottom shelf uh, to help blow the air up through all the food up into the cooling fins. Now these are just computer fans. A lot of people, they I love whenever they chime in, they say, oh, you could save yourself a lot of money and you could just buy computer fans and you can do it that way. Well, yeah, you can, but here's the thing. These guys have already thought all this stuff out. They've already put it together and they have circuitry that's in here that'll help protect it um, if you have a problem. Again, you have an on-off switch, you have the cable, you have the twist ties, you have those exact same instructions, but in this case, you have three fans all pulling cold air in from the front side, or I should say air in from the front side, and they're going to deposit that air directly via these fans onto the fins in the back of the refrigerator. Now check this out, the way they do that, they have alligator clips that are secured to the housing that allow this just to clip right onto the fins. Uh, so again, 12 volt power, you can turn this on and it will blow on those fins in the back. And I know you guys are having a problem with those fins building up with ice. Well, this will help with that, definitely. So let's get these wired in, show you what it looks like. So it's all finished. You can see the kind of tools that you're going to end up using. Uh, I was going to use some scotch locks. Instead, I used the included wire nuts. They're a little bit easier. It gives you two sizes depending on what you're going to connect into. Make sure that you don't put too big of a wire uh, nut on something that uh, you know doesn't require it. So again, both of them are included. So in the top one, there's just a wire laying in here, just to let you know. You can see the wire. I've just got it routed down the back. What I'm going to do is clean this up, uh, make it look a little bit nicer. And what I did was tie into the fan that's already existing in the RV. Uh, that way this fan will turn on and off automatically as needed, uh, which is really cool. Uh, again, I can switch it on and off with the switch, but in this case, uh, I'll let the refrigerator's built-in thermostat control it. And this will help with the circulation, you can see from down below here, to help move air up to this inlet so it can blow it out the back and again, circulation will happen. Of course, your refrigerator is going to be most likely different than this. Uh, so you can wire using internal wires or again, you can go out the back of the RV or the back of the refrigerator. And in this case, if I was going to do the, ref the freezer, um, I think there's an outlet behind all of this frost that uh, I could use. 
if not I could go up through the uh, the hole that's in the roof of the refrigerator uh, to get to the wiring in the back or if you really want to as long as you're clear of everything you can just drill a hole in the, in the corner and just put some silicone in there because this isn't you know have coils running through it you just have to make sure you're not uh, drilling into anything important on the back side of your refrigerator but mainly this is just an insulated box this is just a, a put together plastic box that has some insulation in it so you'll be drilling through that so you're not going to hit anything critical but again that's up to you now for the meats and potatoes I think this is the one that everybody's going to end up buying most likely um, because they all have these fins and on most of the refrigerators uh, this is the one that's an issue and again I tied into the existing fan that I already have but I could have tied into the wiring going through this port right here uh, that goes to the back of the refrigerator or this port here that goes to the back of the refrigerator uh, again yours is going to be most likely different uh, but I went ahead and tied into the fan because then again same thing thermostat will control these three fans and again this is probably the majority of you what you're going to be doing you're going to want to get the three fan system to clip onto the vents in the back to keep them from frosting up because our Dometic and more cold refrigerators we had in the past the single ones that had this type of a setup uh, with the uh, fins in the back that was the first thing that frosted up now on this big refrigerator because of all these fans that it has on it uh, and now even more uh, the frost situation mainly happens in the freezer as you can see up above the links are in the description make your decision have it shipped to you do the wiring you got to know how to do wiring it's not difficult and for you that don't know and you want like to do DIY projects what a great way to learn this is an easy way to learn so go ahead and run your wiring to your fans and now you should be able to go a lot longer before you have to defrost your refrigerator as always guys we hope to see you out here bye